Aries couples, how y'all doing? Welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela, and this video is going to be for the Aries couples. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half, the, pardon me, the first half of September 2019. I hope that this reading finds you guys well and in good spirits. Aries, I would like to invite you out to my meet and greet September 21st in the Los Angeles area. Check out my website for more details and to RSVP. I am offering four slots for in-person readings at a first come first serve basis. So you can also book that on my website. Click the link to the event. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, head over to my website once again. You can do everything there. Um, Oh yeah, my 30 minute life phone reading sessions, Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Aries couples, thank you, are offered at $50 until the 7th at midnight Pacific Standard Time. Okay, I'm lowering the price for those that want that emailed me and asked for a reading but said that they couldn't afford it, so I just gone ahead and lowered it down a little bit more to make it um, where everyone can get a reading while the, the prices are look at their lowest and yeah this is general so everything here won't apply to you guys Aries check your Sun Moon rising and Venus signs and understand that this can definitely go vice versa Aries the central overall energy of your reading is seclusion you're looking to get away you're looking for some quiet time you're looking for some peace you're trying to find some solace and some solitude from people right now. It's like you're being very reclusive. Some of you Aries could be exhausted. You could be feeling discouraged about something in your life. Maybe even your relationship could be your job. I feel that you're at a distance from your partner right now. Though you do treasure them, there is a much needed conversation that that you're maybe dreading or you don't want to have. I do feel that the autumn season could bring in a lot of significance to you. Um, which is coming up very soon, or some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Libra, or Scorpio, um, maybe even a Sag. I feel that there is going to be a call to action by the universe, or you are wanting to call someone. Maybe you are literally at a distance from your partner right now, like physically distant from them. Um, due to a conflict, I see some court issues that some of you could be facing that you might be afraid of. of. Um, and I'm seeing some of you could be going to school or um, sprucing up your application, maybe learning something new, adding something new to your repertoire. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel that you've also been through a lot with this person. Maybe you've just been a lot, been through a lot lately. Scorpio, Aries, I'm sorry. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You may have a Scorpio in your chart. But yeah, you, you already know that you've got to call someone and communicate with someone. I feel that you're going to get victory with a court situation. And yeah, I feel like you're, it's time for you to go toward your destiny. Being honest with yourself about what it is that you really want in your life. And not just crying about it, but doing something about it. Right? I feel that some of you Aries could be um, going on some type of a short trip. Okay? If you decide to... Stop by my meet and greet September 21st in L.A. All right, Aries. Okay, I feel like your relationship was short-lived because someone wanted their freedom to do as they please. And I'm saying that you are at a distance from your partner or from your family. And you might be feeling very cold toward this person right now. Not really wanting to go out. Not really wanting to be seen. But there's someone from your past whether this is your current partner that could be your past love or like maybe you knew them in a past life or you've got someone from the past that you're still hanging on to and that person could be posing a, an obstacle to you. Um, I'm seeing an obstacle with your job also and I'm seeing karma. You might be wanting to fix some karma with someone, maybe your mother, okay, because I feel that someone here could be sick. Now, what's blocking the situation is letting go of a cycle so i feel like you and your partner have gone on this very vicious cycle this on again off again thing especially if it's an aquarius or a gemini and i feel like someone wants off of the roller coaster and they're letting go but i feel like something from the past keeps haunting you keeps following you around it could be a criminal record it could be the a past person won't get out of your rearview mirror, won't leave you alone. I 
feel like someone here is obsessive. For some of you, that might be the case. I see some of you are very focused on career and school. Uh, some of you are waiting for a loan or a lump sum of money. Some of you are waiting for, for your partner to step up to the plate. Someone in this scenario could be pregnant. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio. I did say Scorpio already, but something really has you feeling emotional right now, Aries. Maybe toward this person because you are distant from them. Something is triggering some type of self-reflection. Maybe a change in perspective about something. Because I feel that there was some type of severe disrespect. Someone even could have a, a what do you call it, a disease, random. Because I'm hearing moderate to severe. <laughs> you know those um, commercials when they're talking about medications or they're talking about a disease process. They're talking about moderate to severe or whatever. I don't know. Depression is what I'm feeling. Some of you could be going, undergoing some type of moderate to severe depression about someone, something, possibly your family. There was an argument that you had. This doesn't even have to be an argument that went outside of yourself. This could be an argument that was within. Do you understand what I mean? Self-conflict or conflict within. You're trying to make a final decision about whether or not to stay or to go or to open up to... Um, a mother figure, it could be your mother as I stated, or this could be someone that you share children with. It could be your partner, it could even be something that has absolutely nothing to do with love. Like I said, it could be work, but I'm seeing heartbreak. I feel that you could be um, spending a lot of time at work, maybe exhausting yourself to kind of avoid the issues that are going on at home. So I see a family. You may have a family with someone, you may be married to someone, but I also see that someone is hiding their feelings. Or that there's hiding a person, speaking to a person in secret, a past love, an ex, who could be a Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Queen of Wands. Someone's not paying attention to the red flags. Someone is very distracted and feeling stuck. Why are you feeling stuck? Losing hope. Possibly having to do with an air sign. Absolutely. You feel defeated. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't understand you. They don't get you. You feel like you have to, to be defensive with this person. Possibly with a Capricorn. Some of you could be fighting an addiction. Fighting an attraction for someone from your past. You definitely um, still have emotional ties for, with someone from your past. Thank you, my love. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's take a look. Why are you feeling heartbroken, Aries? And for some of you, this has definitely a lot to do with a Pisces. What are you worried about? You're worried about your family? Are you worried about someone's ill health? Are you worried that someone's sick and they won't get better? Because for some of you, I get the sense that someone's in the hospital or in ill health. You're worried that somebody's pregnant. You're worried that someone is going to discover a secret that you have. Huh. Let's see what this is about. You don't want people to, to see you, the real you. Some type of cycle like something happens around every time of the year for you, Aries. That's what I mean. It's something's haunting you. Something won't let go. Someone's obsessing over you. Are you obsessing about someone? Okay. What is this? Let's really see. What is really going on for Aries? There is a Sagittarius here. Try to stir up drama within your relationship. Try to bring your relationship down. They want it to crash and burn. 
Okay, I see some type of an argument. Keep in mind there are three people in this scenario. You're arguing with someone, Aries. Either you're arguing with a, a past person or you're arguing with your current partner. Or they are the past person. Someone is being stubborn. They don't want to budge. They don't want to change. And right now you don't know where you stand with this person. Some of you are, are worried about money. You're worried about maybe balancing your budget or uh, keeping things afloat financially because maybe you have to pay out for something. Maybe you have a loan that you're having to pay back. Um, okay, some of you are going out with friends. <sighs> Spending a lot of time with friends. I'm feeling like somebody has a drinking problem. And when they drink, they say some very belligerent and disrespectful things. And I feel that that's why someone is saying, Scorpio, I'm done. Aries, I'm done. You're flighty. You're cold. You're distant. One quick second. You won't tell me the truth. You're always hurting me with your secrets, with your lies. Or with this cycle of going back and forth between you and another person. Someone here doesn't want to contribute to bills at home. Maybe you feel like you're doing things by yourself. You feel like your partner is present, but some of you feel like you're a single parent, even though the other parent is there in the home. You're wanting to make amends, possibly with someone at a distance. Like I said, maybe a Pisces, maybe a Leo, but you're reluctant to because you have a family. You want to leave, it looks like. You want to be leaving quietly. You might be lying, being shady about, I feel like somebody's in your ear, Aries. You guys do have this cycle of on again, off again. I'm seeing, I'm hearing get out, leave, pack your bags. I'm done. Okay, because someone found out that someone was lying or has someone pregnant. I'm saying someone is in love. I'm saying someone loves to drink also. Overindulgent. Both of you right now, I feel like you're you're you have the potential to be very strong together and to be together for a very long time. I'm seeing that someone is very loyal. One of you is very loyal, very nurturing, very down to earth. The other one is um, solely focused on money. I see that someone could be attracted to you at the job. That could be who this Sagittarius is. Someone is very concerned about status or the way that they look in public to other people. Some of you, like I said, you're maybe you, you're in business with your partner right now. Maybe you're like two ships in the night and um, you're not communicating. Because of something that may have come up in the past, I feel like, yes, there was a pattern of you leaving and going to be with someone else and then coming back and revisiting this relationship Somebody has addictions. I don't know. There's so many things going on here. Someone's being fake, phony, selfish, secretive. Someone's stuck in the past. Skeletons in their closet that they don't talk about. Try to... Be deceptive about something that they're doing behind your back. And they, that, that's the cycle. They keep hurting you over and over again. And arguing and being defensive and not being honest. I feel that someone here is going to be honest about something. And I feel that you're missing. Somebody's missing someone. Whether you're missing your partner, Aries, or your partner is missing their ex. Someone misses their kids, perhaps. Someone's feeling very distracted, focused on money. I do feel that there's a potential here for a new start to happen. Let me see. Let me see where this new start is happening. Are you guys coming back together, uh, <clears throat> Aries? After having maybe taking a break from this relationship and coming back together? Someone's not happy about it. I see a fire sign trying to come in between the two of you. Trying to cause friction. Yeah, chemistry. There is someone from the past that you still have chemistry with that maybe you had a sexual relationship with. But I see that you're trying to free yourself of this person, but I see someone obsessive. 
I don't know why I'm hearing the movie Fatal Attraction. Somebody just keeps coming back. Somebody that you're trying to free yourself from. Okay, and they're waiting for you. There's a third party waiting for you to maybe end a situation and come to them. Okay, but right now it looks like you're focused on your finances and your career. And maybe you're, you're married to your job right now. And you're saying, I need to... Um, distance myself from this person right now, but you already know that there's going to have to be a conversation that you have with someone. And for some of you, there is addiction. Okay? Someone here is a flirt, and you do have children. Someone here is attracted to someone else that maybe they're separated from. But I do, do see that um, there is a reconciliation coming in, so either this is you, Aries, reconciling with possibly your children, that you could be estranged from, that you could be at a distance from. Some of you, your kid left to go to college. Maybe there's some distance there. But I feel that you're you're reuniting with the one that you truly love. So I feel, Aries, that you're, you're having to make a decision between someone from your past and the person that you're presently coupled with. Okay? I strongly feel that someone is saying, I won't leave you alone. I'm, a, I'm hearing obsession. Or someone here is just simply obsessed with the past, and this is why the two of you keep going through some type of cycle um, of the same thing. Someone won't let go of what happened in the past. But yeah, I feel like someone here is distant. They're pulling away because they want the truth. And someone feels like you're just too disrespectful to deal with right now. And so they're saying, I need some time away. Or that your addiction is getting the best of you. They want you to step up and stop lying. <sighs> it's on YouTube. It's a song that says, why are you always lying? And that's how they feel about you. Why do you always have to lie? Why can't you be honest about how you really feel or what's really going on? They're suspicious, Aries. Or you're suspicious toward them. Okay? Let's see. Let's let's uh, see how they feel about you, Aries. <sighs> okay, they're not sure if you even love them anymore. Like, Karen, you won't even look me in the eye. That type of thing is what I'm sensing. Aries. Crosswatcher, I feel that someone here is very fixated on work. see trust the trust has obviously been broken it's like somebody's feeling like you threw a dagger to their heart when they found out about a third party because someone is about to discover it this their the third party they're about to discover maybe a pregnancy an untold pregnancy um, they're about to discover the truth about a secret Your partner could be very intuitive. They may be asking for advice from other people about whether or not they should forgive you for the cycle of abuse or the cycle of, of being hurt again and again. They want to recover this relationship, this relationship. They want to bring things back together. But at the same time, they're saying, I think I, it's time for me to choose a new direction. One, because I'm saying one of you is ready for commitment and the other one of you is saying, I'm not sure if I want to read, settle down. You could be asking for advice from your elders, okay, or your friends, people that you trust, okay. And some of you are worried about the health of a loved one or improving the health of a relationship. You're worried about your own health, your own success, okay. And if you don't feel like success is coming, it does look like it has the potential to. But you're looking for a sign anywhere about whether or not this is the right situation for you. And some of you are saying no. No. Like I said, one of you was ready to go into a relationship and the other one wasn't. One of you is ready to settle down. And the other one of you is saying no, I don't think I want to move forward with this relationship. Why though? Hmm. But it does look like the situation will improve. One of you feels like it's unlikely to work out, and one of you really wants to work this out. Okay. But I feel like the, with the perfect timing that the two of you are going to have some type of conversation that you've been neglecting to have. And there's an opportunity to heal a, the relationship. Someone here wants to be nurtured, but they're acting like they don't need you right now. 
a cross watcher for the Aries. So when you're dealing with a Taurus, cross watcher is feeling stuck and unsure about what to do about this commitment, about whether or not they want to hang on or let this go. Some of you are staying in the relationship because of the children. Some of you are discovering that you are becoming a father or admitting the truth about whether or not a child is yours. Because once again, I'm hearing you are the father. Like Maury. I'm not saying that you're going to find out on Maury, but I'm feeling like you might find out online or on, like, on social media of some type that someone is actually... Somebody got somebody else pregnant while on hi hiatus from your relationship. Or while they gave you the impression that the two of you were getting back together and you find out that they have a, a hidden child or a hidden agenda. Someone, this is going to be very random, testicular cancer. <sighs> Someone could have passed away from that possibly. You're feeling stuck. Someone here wants to leave, but they feel stuck. Maybe because finances aren't stable right now. Um, someone is aware that there's another person that has invaded the relationship. They are worried about money. Someone here is worried about status. The way that they represent themselves outside to everyone else. They want to look like they have it all together. That nothing's wrong. But I'm seeing resentment. Some of you have resentment toward your father. Some of you have resentment with, towards your father's child, your child's father. Because you feel like things aren't working out. Or that's how they see you. They see you as very defensive. And that you're trying to put on this very tough exterior. That you always want to fight. They feel like you're unreachable, that they can't reach you, that they can't talk to you. Not that they can't reach you via phone. Maybe that could be the case. But it's like they, they feel like you're impenetrable. They can't get anything to you. How do, I, how do I mean this? How can I say this? They feel like you keep blocking them out. They're trying to like pour their heart out to you and tell you how they feel, but they feel like you it's going to fall on deaf ears. You don't, you don't want to hear what they have to say. I feel like this is what they're worried about. And I feel like they want a new start possibly with an Aquarius. Okay, I see a fire sign is possibly looking at an Aquarius, interested in Aquarius. And they want a new start with an Aquarius. But it's like someone is, is afraid to open up and say how they feel. Someone here feels used, betrayed. They're blocking you. Someone here feels blocked. Or you're blocking out someone, blocking out... Someone's trying to communicate with you, but you're blocking them out. That could be what it is that I just said, but I feel like you block someone on social media. Block someone from having access to you. You're pulling away from possibly a Leo. You feel like they pushed you away. And you're having to make a decision about whether to deal with someone from your past that you feel is too obsessive, too much. And you're wanting to return to who? A water sign? Okay, someone that you're not talking to. Someone feels like they've been treated as an option. Something here is about to change, though. After things have been unstable between the two of you, I feel that the two of you, with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and with, I'm seeing that, that you're going to maybe figure out what it is that you're going to do with the future, okay? Be because I'm seeing, is someone in the hospital? Someone is laid to rest. <sighs> I don't know. Somebody's sick. Okay, soulmate. I feel like the two of you are definitely soulmates that you're meant to be, but someone here is very controlling. Or some of you is, are so fixated on having to make a decision, it's fair to saying just let it play out. Let it happen naturally. This heart-to-heart -heart conversation, say what it is that you really need to say. Come in, baby. Yeah, but I feel like right now you're just really fixated on your finances and career, both of you. Okay. But there is someone coming in between the two of you, trying to separate the two of you. And for some of you, it has to do with the addiction that's separating you from the way that you really feel from one another. Oh, Aries. And you do see the red flags. 
possibly with a third party. You do see a red flag that this that the same cycle is happening, and you're saying, I don't know what the future holds between me and my partner, right? You're separated. Maybe you talk a divorce. You're not sure if you should give this relationship a chance because it's just... I'm, I'm saying something. Your relationship is hanging in the balance. Someone feels like that, like... Um, feels threatened. All right. Some of you are worried about a fire sign child or an air sign child. Okay, so let's see. What is the advice for the Aries singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? Some of you are moving. You're getting a new home. Some of you are leaving your current relationship and maybe deciding whether or not to move in with someone from your past. An ex. Whose birthday is coming up? Some of you, you're concerned about a birthday. And those of you who are concerned about a new career, you have a new career on the horizon. Some of you are wanting to take a vacation. Um, something significant happened over the summertime is what I'm seeing. So let me see the advice. We're going to be dealing with a Leo. I did say that. Leo, um, Scorpio, I'm hearing Cancer, I'm hearing Gemini. You may need to do some research. Some of you could definitely um, be going into, like I said, going back to school, studying something. Spirit is saying do some research. Look into this before moving forward. Surrender. Spirit says surrender to what is. Whose birthday is coming up? We are currently in Virgo season. Scorpio is coming up. Your child's birthday could be coming up. A child that you're estranged from. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. Oh, Libra is coming up. Libra is the next birthday. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. September, Virgo. And a Scorpio. Yeah. Someone's birthday is coming up. Your child's birthday. You could have a Libra child. You could have a Scorpio child. You could have a Virgo child. A Libra Scorpio cusp child. Surrender resentments. Holding on to resentment on resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. Some of you are feeling resentful toward your children or your children may be feeling resentful toward you or their other parent, okay? And I feel that something here is going to be addressed. There's a potential here for a healing to take place within a relationship, whether this is, however it resonates for you, okay? I don't know, I'm not sure it's gonna be, I'm gonna be wrong for someone, okay? Because it's just a general meeting. It could be with your partner. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Some of you would definitely benefit from going into the ocean, possibly taking a spiritual bath, having a spiritual awakening at the ocean. Some of you could be meditating. Let that sunlight hit you, that third eye. Yeah. Purity. Surrendering. Okay, that's just what I'm saying. Surrender doesn't mean giving up. It just means saying, let it go. I'm giving this over to the higher power, to my higher power. How, Whatever that means to you, if it's God, if it's... I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone. But I do see a new career for you. I do see an upcoming birthday that could be significant. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, going out in nature is going to prove to be very positive for you and I also feel that your love life is going to improve it's going to it has the potential to change for the better but someone here has to let go of those the resentment from the past so that healing can come in what can you really do about the past but learn from it and move forward and release these surrenders these resentments that could be what's haunting the relationship and keeping you in a in a cycle of not you know having this cohesion and coming together and feeling like you guys can can make this work that's what i see for you guys aries i hope that this made sense to someone again if you'd like to book a personal reading the link to my website is below you will also find the link to my upcoming event my meet and greet on the 21st in the la area go to my website to rsvp or to book your in-person reading take 
very good care of yourselves Aries thank you so very much for watching I wish you guys the absolute best don't forget to like share thumbs up the video and consider subscribing and if you do hit the notification bell so that you get the notification of when I upload because I do upload frequently I wish you guys the best as I stated Aries I'll see you again in another video peace bye for now